If you had to name just one beauty buy that made a big impact in 2017, could you do it? In today's Style File, a surprising statement from Studio 5 contributor Megan Moore. She says the latest and greatest beauty game changer isn't a miracle cream, it's not a new makeup line, it's something much, much smaller. She's turning our attention to a beauty tool I still think a lot of women haven't heard of, fair to say? Yeah, I would say on all three of these, it's, it's you, you probably may not have heard it unless you're really tapped into the beauty world, so I'm excited to share. So 2017, they came onto the scene, mm -hmm. you call them a game changer, is this the year we'll, we'll add these to our makeup bag? I hope so, I think so. I mean, the technology has just improved so much and it makes the application of our makeup so much easier, so yeah, I think this is the year you grab it and run with it. What's the first product, the first cool tool you want us to try? Okay, so this is a new applicator. It's called a silicone sponge. Silly sponge, there's a few different names for them. Okay. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's silicone. Uh, in a kind of like a funky little shape. They're kind of egg shaped typically. Now hold on, I would think this would just smear foundation all over my face. So you're gonna use a lot less foundation with this because nothing absorbs into it. So if you feel like your, your foundation is just getting sucked into your brush or into your sponge, this might be a great option for you because literally none of it can be absorbed. Okay. And then it's also really great because you can completely sanitize this. So it's just so nice. You can wash it, you can just run it under the sink with soap on it. But yeah, you're gonna use a tiny yeah, bit I'm with this. try this. So yeah, you wanna try it? So just a okay? tiny little bit and then okay. you're going to kind of rub and pat with this in. And so what it's going to do is it's going to give it more of a full coverage. You can add a little bit more if you, oh if you need to. So it's not going to blend and take away any product. It's not going to blend away. No, so you need just a smaller amount, which is really nice. But yeah, it's going to give a really nice surface to the skin and more full coverage. So if you love a full coverage foundation, the silicone sponge is a great way to go. I was going to say, why do I feel like your foundation would have to be a really good match to your skin? Yeah, it's <laughs> not going to be pulling away and yeah. disappearing it all. So you do need to definitely make sure it matches. But yeah, hey. it gives a really pretty finish to it. I might try this. Uh, yeah, kind of cool, right? Okay. And they're just kind of fun to play with too. And is there one brand that you love more than These others? These ones are the e.l.f. ones. I recommend them because they're affordable, right? So if you buy it and you don't love it, then you didn't spend a ton on it, right? So okay. these are like in the $8 range. And there's different sizes and shapes. This one's kind of cool. It has a little handle on the back, which is nice. You can slip your oh, fingers yeah. behind to help hold it. So you just want to play around with them. Yeah. Weird. Weird. But, weird. Weird, but cool. cool. Weird, cool. All right. <laughs> What's next? Okay, so this is kind of the new generation of makeup brushes. We're calling these paddle brushes because they almost look like a, a hairbrush paddle style, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Or like a giant toothbrush. It's kind of a different <laughs> shape. So you have to get used to holding it and, and applying it differently. Yeah. Um, but these have, feel how dense that is. They have oh, wow. so many more bristles yeah. in each area. So what that does, it's like little tiny fingers. And the more fingers you have, the faster it's going to spread it out, blend it, and blur it in. So you can use these with foundation again too, but you can also use use them for contour or blush. So here's some blush, I put it on there and I'll take my blush one here and just blend it in. And because it's got all those fingers working for me, it blends it super fast. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? And they feel so soft and they're so nice huh. on the face. So. so with this, in this case, you would put the makeup on your face and then use that to actually blend it up. Yep, so I would do a few little dabs of your foundation or whatever you're gonna use. And then yeah, or even this one for contour with your bronzer. Yep, and you're just gonna use it on the skin kind of in circular motions and back and forth motions. They even have like little tiny ones that you can use for your eyeshadow. Oh wow. So it's a totally different approach. It feels a little different to hold it different ways but once you get used to it, it's really great. Yeah, the and, angle would be a little odd. Yeah, and these are by Real Techniques, which is a great brush line, and they're affordable. So again, if, if, if it's not something you're smitten with, it's not a huge expense, but highly recommend these ones. Where do we find those? You can find them at Ulta or, or even uh, Target sells Real Technique as well. So, okay, yeah. all right. The third and final cool tool you're showing us today. Okay, now the sponges we've seen kind of a lot, but they've really evolved in the fact that we see so many more different shapes and sizes now. Yeah, is so, this a gimmick? I, I mean, no. Really? I am 100%. And I, I, all, this is what I use on the daily. A different shape can really make a difference. It really can because you have a handle, like some of them are designed to hold really nicely and also to get into the contours of your face, uh -huh. right? And some people have a hard time, um, you know, underneath the eyes or around the nose when those, it's tighter there, so the shape is great. And these little tiny baby ones are amazing for concealer underneath the eyes. And you're gonna use these damp, right? So feel, th this, feel the difference between a damp one. Wait, what? Yes. You use them wet? Yes. Hold on, I have these, I've been using them wrong? And that's why you're probably not thrilled with it. 
I'm because, not in love. Yeah, because this one, see, this is the same size. Can you see the, how much bigger it is once it's stamped? So, the, oh, okay. But these are the exact same size, but not once it's stamped. Well, what's the point of getting it wet? Because then it becomes bouncy. The whole point with these is to bounce it into the face. So we can even use this with powder. A lot of people don't even know you can use them with powder too. So you can dip into your powder. And the whole point of this is to bounce. Bounce and roll and tap. It's gonna push into the skin when we bounce it. So we get it wet, it expands, becomes bigger and bouncier. It's I almost like suede. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So with the powder, but with foundation, I'm still getting it wet? Everything, right? What? Now, keep in mind, it is gonna it is gonna thin out your product a little bit because of the moisture. Okay. So it may, it may make your coverage a little less, so you may need to add it a little bit more. But yes, bounce and roll and tap, you're gonna get amazing application. We hang out regularly, and this is the first time you're telling me I mean, about this. Yep, get them damp, squeeze them out. So here's another question I have for you. The name brand, the Beauty Blender, right. is like 20 bucks. Yes. I, mean, I think a lot of women do this audible gas yes. in the beauty aisle like I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks on a sponge and then you see it at Target a mm -hmm. knockoff for like five bucks yeah. what's the difference so beauty blender is the original they 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 coined the technology and it really is a step above everybody else's so if you love this and you really want to splurge that $20 sponge I stand by it I think it's amazing okay these ones here are by Ulta and they are a great knockoff they're not quite the same but they're very very similar um, and these need to be replaced every three months so you need to think about that too are you gonna spend $20 for one every three months or do you want to spend like five $5.99, you know, you really decide. Well, because we know our applicators are a breeding ground for bacteria. Anyway, exactly. throw in some water and that's yep. going to only step it up. How many does one person need realistically? Realistically, I would go with, you could do a full face one that's going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to cover the areas much quicker and okay. then maybe a smaller one for the concealer area. So probably two is all you need. Um, again, and these ones are like in the six, seven dollar range each at Ulta. So there's that, but and you're I putting do. the product on the sponge in this case. Yep, yeah, you can put it directly on the sponge, or you can pump onto your hand and then scoop up and then press on that way too. But make sure they're damp. Hello, you said new generation. You weren't kidding. Nope. I'm about to buy into this and try it the new way. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, we can get tips like this all the time on your Instagram. Yes, and we're giving them away. I'm giving away a set of all the new generation. So make Bye. sure you head over there. It's at Beauty Snoop on Instagram. Thank you so much, Megan. We appreciate it.